Okay, Nick, what are we talking about? Hey, Tom, I was uh, hoping you could talk to us about tithing and pledging to the church and whatnot. Money? Yeah. You want me to talk about money? Yeah, Tom, it's stewardship season. It's time to talk about money in church. Money? Well, at least it's not my money. Oh. My name is Tom Hardrove. <laughs> what, too much? That was perfect. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tom Hardrove. Hi, my name is Tom Hardrove. I and my family have been members of St. Luke's Episcopal Church for 21 years. This is our home, our spiritual home. My son was confirmed here. Our roots are now here. This is our spiritual place. And so I am delighted to encourage all of us to take part in this year's pledge drive, our stewardship campaign to raise resources so that our parish can function and be part of the kingdom of God. Stewardship is much more than just raising money. It's an act of worship. And as our Lord said, where our treasure is, that's where our heart is. And so we should look deep into ourselves, into our hearts, see how good God has been to us, and to give accordingly, to give a portion of what we've been given, to be as gracious to God as the Lord has been to us. Thank you. Okay, Nick, I have a good idea for this pledging a stewardship thing. We just have to do it. So, congregation, just do it. It's even though COVID tried to stop us, what our new priests in charge and other people have done is so great, and I'm ever so thankful. And the way I have interacted with them is just coming to church and trying to be present at anything that we have to do in the church because the church belongs to us and we have to support it. Just do it. We couldn't have asked for anybody better than Kate. Kate is committed. She is wonderful, we love her, and she has tried, and she's done marvelous things. We taped, you know, um, pieces that we played, and it came out in the church. And we are now back inside the church doing uh, FaceTime choir practice, and we're very grateful to her. And that's face-to-face -face choir practice, not over FaceTime, right? No, it's face-to-face -face choir practice now. Just do it. Well, I gotta tell you something. St. Luke's is a place that is very welcoming. Personally, this is the reason I have said at St. Luke's, everybody belongs. And that is something very special. We need it to. It's our own place. It's our church. We have to take care of it, just like we take our own family needs. This is our family. St. Luke's is our family, and we have to take care of it, period. Just do it. Don't tell anybody I'm getting some little nibbles off the rack from the pork butt. You know, we're out here, the pumpkin patch is a going thing. We got the barbecue going along with it. But that money, that money doesn't help us pay our normal operating expenses. We're completely dependent upon the pledges from our congregation to keep the place open, to pay salaries, to pay the utilities, and all the other associated costs of running this church. So yeah, as you said, it is time for pledging. We need folks to step up and pledge, if they can, to make a commitment beyond what they've made before.
I'll tell you for myself and my family, we started here years ago, 20 years ago. We didn't quite understand the theme and the, and the need for pledging to make sure the operating budget was put in place to keep the place open and running. Over the years, we increased our pledge. And I'm happy to say that I've come to a point in my life where I do, in fact, tithe. And I've made that commitment to St. Luke's, and I hope to continue to make that commitment in the future. Hi, St. Lukers. This is Amy Mormon coming to you from the St. Luke's Pumpkin Patch. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the stewardship campaign that St. Luke's is conducting right now. Uh, our family has been very involved in St. Luke's for quite some time. My husband, John, grew up and was an acolyte in this church, and we got married here almost 21 years ago. It'll be our 21st anniversary in a couple of days. And we also baptized our daughter and raised her here in the St. Luke's preschool and also through Sunday school. So it's been a wonderful place for us to be a part of and has really become a family. And our journey here has been uh, very positive. And so we feel like the programs here and the opportunities here to be a part of just such a unique place um, has really brought a richness to our lives. And so we hope that you will consider your journey um, as you think thoughtfully and generously about contributing to support the programs and specifically the operations of St. Luke's. Um, the staff here is amazing. They work so hard on our behalf and we hope that you will continue to support and be a part of St. Luke's um, family just as we have. So thank you for your time and we'll see you later. I'm Mike, and what's your name? Dougie. Uh, this is Dougie, and together we are half of the Saperstein family, but we're here because we wanted to join the St. Luke's family. And Dougie, in addition to being a monkey on his own time, is also a monkey at St. Luke's Day School, so he's really embraced the St. Luke's family. So we first started at St. Luke's, we first sat here in a pew late February 2020. Never did we imagine that we were going to become the protocol pandemic parishioners. But, you know, we joined St. Luke's because we wanted to be part of the community. And we knew that for our family and others, this was going to be a special place to be. And we're so glad that we did. And St. Luke's has done so much during the pandemic. Now it's time to do our part. So we're calling on everyone out there to make your pledge. Go ahead and do your part to keep this uh, great St. Luke's family going for our family and yours. Well, if it isn't Paul Johnson. Oh, it's Paul Johnson. And that's what I said, Paul. Uh, as the chair of the finance committee, I just wanted to talk to you about a little bit about where we are in the process right now. I'm on the edge of my seat. Paul, where are we? Uh, it's late November. It is indeed. Um, the, the, the stewardship campaign ends soon. I'm real excited about what we've heard to date um, and where we are right now. It looks like we can afford our middle of the road budget, which was uh, relates to some of the planning we've been doing in the finance committee. Okay, uh, that sounds like good news. The middle of the road budget right now, though, doesn't fund a sexton out of our operating budget. It also doesn't fund some of the on some of the ministries that people have proposed across the church. Um, and these are things like enhancements to our online presence, um, different th different programs people want to do now that we're uh, operating more this year as opposed to last year. So we really want to do these programs. Yeah, our online worship is really important now. And we really want to have a sexton to help take care of the whole building, especially the new parish hall that, we, that we've built or are finishing up building right now. Oh my gosh, Paul, a sexton would be so useful. That would free up Sue and I's time to take care of other things. And it's going to help us rent out the parish hall more. And it's going to help us take care of the things that we have. So please, 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 if you've not done your pledge, 
please contact the office or fill out a pledge form online. Um, we just want people to participate, and that will really help the church. Um, it will really help us in fiscal year 22 or calendar year 22. I know what you meant. But it will really help us plan right now for calendar year 22 because as the finance committee chair, I want to put a budget in place. And so the more certainty we get from the congregation, the better we can do that. So thank you so much. I'm real optimistic about where we are and where we can be. And I look forward to everyone's participation. Paul, well, thank you for supporting St. Luke's with your ministry and with your pledge. And all of you who have turned in your pledge, thank you for helping us support our ministry next year and for helping us to thrive in this challenging time. Good day, everyone. I am Lee Gilmore, for those of you who I don't know. I'm coming to you from St. Luke's Church. Uh, I am this year's co-chair for the 2022 Stewardship Campaign. Our, our campaign this year is entitled Broken Open. Um, it is a campaign that was passed along to us by the Diocese of Virginia, and we are using the same campaign. Um, pledge commitment for this year is what I'm here to talk to you about. Um, gratitude for all of the ways that this community of St. Luke's has reached out to us is what pledging actually is about. Last year, our pledge goal was $365,000. This year, we have a bigger toll to try to achieve. Finance Committee has worked very hard to try to figure out what our needs are for this year. And they have come up with a number of $450,000. That number is obtained because last year we were able to reach our goals financially with the use of PPE loans. This year we will not have those loans from the federal government. We are also reopening the church is where we come up with Broken Open, our pledge campaign for this year. This year, uh, as of last year, we are encouraging people to pledge online. I pledged online this year, and I found it to be very easy. We've set it up for you to be very easy. Um, if you go to stlukeschurch.net, and that's S-A-I-N-T-L-U-K-E-S-C-H-U-R-C-H.net, St. Luke's Church. So the saint is spelled completely out. And go under giving, and then you'll see pledge. We've made it very easy for you. It's a click-through process that you just input your, your name with. Also, we've also made it available for you to have pledge cards in the narthex, and you can put those pledge cards in alms, the alms plate that's there right in the narthex. Also, for those of you who want to put something in the alms plate every Sunday, we have cards out front in the narthex that you can use and put those in the alms plate that say, I gave online. The statements are generated for you so that for those of you who use this for tax deductions, uh, it makes it extremely easy. Pledging online has really helped us obtain our goal for 2021. We're now asking you to reach down into your heart and look at what you can and will be able to show as a gratitude to this community of St. Luke's in being able to broke open this particular church so that we can reopen after this pandemic that we've all had. I want to thank you all for contributing in 2021, and I ask you to continue with that pledge for 2022. Thank you very much.